Okay, so the title that you're reading down here, no, it's not clickbait, it's 100% true. There was in fact a fire in our building. And that's why Kayla and I are here in this new apartment right now. Story time. So about two weeks ago, Kayla and I are in Ottawa. We're doing a production over there and it's nearing bedtime. I'm lying down in bed. Kayla took out Mia for a walk and I'm just on my phone doing my thing and suddenly I get a call from our landlord. I don't know about you, but I don't oftentimes get calls from my landlord at you know, 10, 11 p.m. And so I picked up and I was like, hey, Jonathan, how's it going? He's like, hey man, is everything okay? And I was just sort of like, yeah, man, everything's great. How are you? To which he responded, oh, you, you haven't heard? There's a fire in your building. At which point, I, I feel like I, it was like a blur. Like, I didn't quite understand what he had said. I, you know, I had, I had misunderstood. I thought he said there was a fire on our block. Anyways, Kayla comes back from walking Mia, and I tell her, you know, I think there's been a fire on our block. I, I'm not really sure what's happening. It, it was honestly a nightmare. Fast forward through the you know week that we had to deal with being in a different city, trying to see what the hell happened in our apartment. You know, we were trying to get our landlord to take pictures, to send us videos, trying to get a friend the new lock because the firefighters had broken down our door in order to assess the damages, and our landlord didn't have a spare key. It was a whole, it was a huge nightmare. Fast forward past all of that, and we actually were able to get into the apartment to see the damages. So we're on our way to our apartment right now to see what the damages are, gauge the situation, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we removed all this plastic, uh, which the firefighters had left covering all of our belongings, which is really nice. There's some water damage. <clears throat> this <clears throat> whole bucket essentially fell from the ceiling up here. It's pretty remarkable that uh, there was nothing to show for it though. Uh, a lot of ash all over the place. The smell is very strong. <clears throat> of course, they moved everything away from the walls. The living room and the bedroom were the two areas that got the hardest hit from our apartment. So the you know living room is this that we're taking a look at right now, and the bedroom looks like this. It's you know all things considered, it's still not that bad, but uh, we definitely need to relocate for the time being. When we arrived at the apartment, the first thing we see is the living room because that's the first thing that you see when you arrive at our apartment, and we're like, oh, that's not good. And then the next thing we take a look at is the bedroom and we're like, oh, like the office, like that's where, that's where our expensive things are. You know, we were pretty worried and, uh, you know, I, you just, I just showed you what these two rooms look like. And then the office, essentially, this is what happened when we opened the office. Of course, Mia wasn't there and we just pushed this aside so that we could use our high speed internet. Airbnb and hotel internet is not the best when you work with gigabytes of data. Oh wow, the are pretty bad. So this is supposedly where the fire started. Uh, we don't know exactly what caused it. Supposedly started from the laundry room and uh, Well, yeah, this is the result of that. So, you know We're pretty lucky all things considered our apartment is not in that bad shape So yeah, as you can see our Apartment is really not that bad compared to our neighbors our neighbors really had you know That was very unfortunate what happened to them what I will say, though, is that Kayla and I are okay. Mia's okay. Mia was with us the entire time in Ottawa. And we're being taken care of because we did have renter's insurance, which if you're on the other side of this camera right now, if you're watching this video and thinking to yourself, I don't have renter's insurance, 
you should probably get renter's insurance. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot express enough how much that has helped us right now in this time where otherwise we would be just completely lost having to pay things you know out of our own pocket and we could be held liable for these things had the fire been in our apartment that could have been our fault fortunately that's not the case so if you can take anything out of this video you know maybe consider getting renter's insurance uh that's pretty much it i just want to give an update to everyone because i don't i'm not seeing many of you because of covid and this is just an easier way to tell a story to everyone instead of just hitting your inboxes and just being like, hey, what's up? I had a fire in my building. That's, that's just a little bit strange. Uh, so yeah, that's this video. Hope you guys are all doing okay. See you guys in the next one.